Dear professionals, do you know why more than 90% of professionals are using the SPC in wrong way? Let's talk about other mistakes they made while using control charts and their solutions. Number one, using all Nelson rules or all tests for special causes while using control chart. This is over control. With an addition of each Nelson rule, there is also increasing probability of the false signal. The false signal is a special cause indication by control chart even though there is no presence of special cause. As a result, acting on it actually increases the process variation. To avoid this mistake, professionals must use only appropriate and necessary Nelson rules while using control charts. For example, while you are going to first establish the control chart limits, you must use only Nelson rule 1, 2 and 7. Once the control limits are established, then you can remove the rule number 7. And the second biggest mistake is using the same approach or strategy to address common cause and special cause variation. There is a well-defined approach to addressing each of these cause category. The incorrect selection of the approach only increases the process variation and make the process performance worst. If you want to master statistical process control, both capability studies and control chart, not only for their effective application, but to avoid these mistakes, then please click the link below and join our most effective and practical program in statistical process control. This also includes lifetime access and lifetime entering support.